Welcome back to the Broadway show. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Let's get back to it. It's my life. It's now or never. For Juliet, there is life after Romeo, but for Ben Jackson Walker, his Broadway career begins right here in the pop musical Smash and Juliet, and he's this week's fresh face. <laughs> Hey, I'm Ben Jackson Walker. I'm playing Romeo, and this is Anne Juliet. It's crazy that to say this is my Broadway debut, and it's an original musical, but when I say, hey, I'm playing Romeo, everyone's like, oh wait, you're playing Romeo? And I'm like, it's not exactly what you think, but it's a really, really fun take on it. My first show I ever did was a musical version of The Hobbit, and I played Frodo Baggins. And they made me these like giant feet that were like stuffed with like stuffing from like a pillow. And they had me in like an Annie wig. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I like really caught the bug then because it was absolutely exhilarating and absolutely terrifying to me. And I've like, I've kept chasing that ever since. I never had a backup plan, but when I got to the city, I've done a bunch of different things and I kind of ended on like nannying and during the pandemic I was gardening and I went to Hawaii for three months and homeschooled two little girls. But I think coming back from the pandemic and when things kind of started to happen and I kind of settled into my life in New York, I was like, it's, it, it was always this. We've had 15 Broadway debuts throughout the show, so there was so much energy. Um, so much excitement, especially opening night. Like I had a really hard time taking it all in at first because I think there were so many emotions that I was completely overwhelmed by it. But then when we came out for our bows and I looked around at all my castmates and we just kind of looked at each other like knowing this was happening, that I will never ever forget that moment. I did have to approach Anne Julia a bit differently than other things, I think. My way into that is that Max Martin is this absolutely incredible pop writer. But he doesn't write for just one person, he's writing for these people like they're characters almost. And so I tried to think about it, you know, all these lyrics that technically had nothing to do with Romeo and Juliet, but they're woven in so, so cleverly by David West Reed. I won't give away too much, but Romeo does make an appearance. He is a part of the show. And when he does come back, you know, he's coming back from the dead and he's singing It's My Life by Bon Jovi. It's my life, it's now or never, and I ain't gonna live forever. I mean, it fits the situation so well. And so you, it, you're literally, you're a pop star and you're a character at the same time. I, I mean, I dreamed of these kinds of things. I, you know, would lay in bed listening to music and I would like think these things through. But you can't actually like know what it's gonna be like or what it's gonna feel like until you're there in that moment and you're doing it. I just have to take it one day at a time because it's overwhelming and it's amazing.